Hey guys, just a quick video on BitMEX I wanted to put up. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, how can I get into this crazy uh, leveraged BitMEX trading? How can I trade Bitcoin futures? Uh, this guide will show you how to uh, place orders, get your account all set up, ready to go, and uh, not get wrecked, hopefully. Uh, I would encourage you to use the link in the description to open your account because you will save 10% on all your fees for the first six months, which I found really useful when I signed up for BitMEX. All right, so what can I say? BitMEX is this amazing platform that allows you to trade futures contracts in Bitcoin. So you're not actually buying and selling Bitcoin. You're buying a contract. You're betting on the price of Bitcoin going up or down, essentially. All right, let's jump right in, guys. BitMEX is a fabulous platform and honestly one of the best futures trading uh, setups on earth. So, But before you do any trading here, you really should go to BitMEX and read their FAQ. It's going to answer a lot of questions and just how the overall system works. And honestly, it's not that complicated. Just go through it quickly and make sure you have an understanding of what you're, what you're actually doing on BitMEX. Yeah, another thing you're going to want to do before you start trading on BitMEX is take a look at the preferences page. And there's a lot of great settings here. Uh, you can change the theme to a dark theme. I prefer the light theme. Um, you can turn animations off and on if your system's uh, having CPU issues. Um, you can send email notifications on all different types of actions here, deposits, confirmations, logins, liquidations, ooch. Uh, you can set your site notifications, so that's in your OS. Uh, it's going to show you notifications or not. Uh, you can add sounds to the different orders. I like to turn everything on, to be honest. Um, that's just my preference. Personally, I use a different website to do my charting. I use tradingview.com, a fantastic website. You should uh, check them out if you're looking at doing anything complicated. But for the most part, the BitMEX chart isn't too bad. Up here, you have your chart interval. Some people like to trade on the 15 minute chart. If you're doing something more long term, you might want to look at the four hour or the daily. If you slide this here, you can fix your chart up. Clicking anywhere in the background will move the chart around. You of course have all your indicators here. So let's say we want to set the stochastic RSI. There it is. At the bottom here. Let's say we want to add Bollinger Bands. So yeah, overall the BitMEX uh, charting app is it's using TradingView, uh, so it's it's essentially the same uh, interface you're going to see at TradingView. But that said, I like to have my own window open with TradingView open as well, so I can keep an eye on the other exchanges easily, primarily for that reason. Oh yeah, another thing to mention is that you can actually move this BitMEX interface around how you like. So if you wanted the order book up here, which a lot of people like, you can just do that. All right, so now that you've got uh, the hang of the interface and everything sort of set up, let's take a look at the types of contracts that uh, BitMEX offers. If you look at the top tab here, you've got Bitcoin, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Ethereum, ETH Classic, Litecoin, Neo, Monero, Ripple, Stellar, Zcash. So these are the cryptocurrencies you can purchase uh, the futures contracts for. and like some of them offer different leverage points bitcoin is 100x max bitcoin cash is 20x max let's go back to bitcoin you'll notice that under here there's three different types of products there's the perpetual swaps and then there's two futures contracts which we call quarterlies uh, these quarterlies will expire march 30th these quarterlies expire june 29th you'll notice there's also a premium on the price uh, Current price is 11.175. There's a bit of a $200 premium here, a little less here, and yeah, that's so that's something to keep in mind when there's a premium or a discount on the quarterlies. Uh, pay that, pay attention to that. Uh, but going back to the perpetuals, perpetuals are really, really good because uh, you can get scale in and out of a position quickly because they have so much liquidity. Number one. Uh, but number two, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to pay uh, eight, a funding fee every eight hours to use the perpetual swaps. Whereas with the quarterlies, there are no fees. So the quarterlies, the idea behind them is that you will take your YOLO longs with the, with the quarterlies. You can hold those positions over days, weeks, 
God, some people hold them even for a month. Can you imagine the gains? Um, yeah, versus the perpetuals, which uh, you're going to pay the fees and you're going to get murdered in fees every eight hours with the perpetuals. So that's something to keep in mind when you're when you're making your positions, these different types of contracts here on BitMEX. Another thing to keep in mind with these is that there's much, much, much more liquidity on the books with the perpetuals. As you can see here with the order book, the number of contracts for sale on both bid and ask side versus the March contract. There's, you see there's much less uh, liquidity there. The June contract should have even less. And it does a lot less. So that's something to keep in mind for opportunities there or uh, just scaling in and out of your positions. Oh yeah, one caveat to mention with the perpetuals contract is that sometimes longs pay short and sometimes shorts pay longs. So that's something to keep in mind. And the fees can get as high as 0.3% depending on the, uh, the overall market conditions. Right, so with BitMEX you can do something called trade with leverage, which is trading with more money than you actually have or placing larger bets uh, than you actually should be able to by borrowing from the exchange. And of course, by making these leveraged bets, you face what's called a liquidation price. And if you're, if the price hits that liquidation price, you could lose uh, either your entire account or whatever you've put up as collateral against uh, your particular trade. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, you should never be trading anything too high when you get started, but let's just look uh, if we place a, a 5x leverage long. One thing I'll point out is you can also adjust this here, your leverage amount. If you want to zero in on say 17x or something, let's just leave it 5. Yeah, so if we bet a thousand contracts at 5x, we're essentially not just betting a thousand dollars, but we're, we're betting five thousand dollars. So let's make a Let's put in the price at 11,000. And if we just hover over here on this long, so it says click to submit a buy limit order for 1,000 contracts at 11,000, which is obviously correct. Uh, it also shows you that the white bar at the bottom, when it's fully uh, expanded, it, it, it'll, it'll execute right away. But what you really want to pay attention to is your estimated liquidation price after execution would be 9206 in this case. So if the price were to dump to 9206, uh, I would be liquidated of my, my, uh, my trade value, 1,000 contracts. <laughs> Right, I can't stress it enough, by making these bets, I mean, you can get into some real degen uh, situations. So be very wary and careful with your order size. Uh, also, you can do something called scale in your orders, which means don't, uh, don't, 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 don't make, if you're intending to get in for 5,000 contracts, uh, don't necessarily make your limit orders at 5,000 and spend everything all at once, but you can scale them in. So for instance, you might go 1,500 per time and uh, three times would be 4,500 contracts. So that's, uh, that's one way to do it. And in fact, you should scale in and scale out of uh, all your orders if you're making long positions that last over the course of uh, days or even weeks. All right, so here's a quick example of the most used order. The order you should be using the most is the limit order. Uh, so we're just gonna bet 1,000 contracts at, we'll put the price right here, 11,500. So we are going to go long, betting that the price is going to go up. If the liquid, if the price gets to 82.85, we will be liquidated. Always want to look at your liquidation price, and the whole order value is just 0 0.09 Bitcoin. So we'll go ahead and place that. That's going to put an order in here, which it's done right here. We can now adjust this limit order. Uh, if we think we, you know, we're not going to get filled down here, we can move it up. But just for the sake of this tutorial, uh, we're going to trigger this order. But look down here, you can see that this order is active. You can see in this active pan panel. So let's go ahead and just for the sake of this tutorial, go ahead and trigger that order. We're going to place it above the price. And it's going to warn us. This is, you're setting it above the price. Do you want to execute it immediately? Yes. Uh, it's not triggered because the price has moved away from us yet again. Fall into it. Still don't have an open position. We'll go ahead and raise it a bit more. Let's see if it triggers. 
there it's triggered 292 contracts have been bought you can see down here under open positions and now the full position has been entered into uh, here you can see your unrealized profit and loss if you hover over this it'll show you uh, uh, what your profit would be if you executed a market close position right now okay so it's important for information down here with your open position is you can see your entry price eleven thousand sixty seven uh, the mark price this is the weighted average price across uh, specific exchanges bitstamp and some others uh, and that's this that's the mark price that's important to know because when you get liquidated it's actually going to use the mark price the price in purple uh, to, to get your liquidation another thing to keep in mind is it shows you the margin that you have on this position it shows that you're 3x long let's click this open you can actually add to your add margin to your position so essentially, if you add margin to your position, you're going to uh, lower that liquidation price and uh, and hopefully reduce some risk for you. But of course, keep in mind by adding margin to your position, you're now risking more. If you get liquidated, you you will potentially lo lose more with that position. And it's all shown into the. Right, guys. Just one uh, more important order type I'd like to share with you. Uh, if you go up here, stop limit, stop market. Uh, stop limit is going to place a limit order at that set price whereas stop market is going to place a market order and, and execute immediately at that price so I prefer to set stop market orders for bitmax uh, which is often very volatile so you can ensure your trades are executed this way um, so if you think the trades gonna get away with you right now we're betting a thousand contracts Bitcoin is gonna go up uh, if you think the trades gonna get away with you you should really uh, just as a general rule of thumb you should always think of setting a stop limit order uh, just to ensure that you're uh, you, you cut your losers quickly and uh, and get out of the position so we'll set a stop limit order if the price goes to 10,750 we want to bail on this position and it's showing us here this looks correct 10,750 and below we will sell a thousand contracts and trigger this stop market order sell there it is right there we can of course adjust it get it perfect so let's say if it loses this support we're going to be out of the position and that is the beauty of a stop market order you should uh, I'll just say it again you should always always think about using stop market orders to limit your risk tolerance on every position yeah if you take a look at the order book it's a useful tool because you can see how many bids or buys orders have been placed versus how many ask or sell orders have been placed on the order book and you can sort of see these walls uh, of sells versus walls of buys and you can kind of gauge where to uh, make your trades even you can uh, sort of trade on the inside of these walls you can zoom in on this and it might become a bit more visible or zoom out sorry let's just zoom out oh, zoom in sorry yeah so we can see how many contracts are for sale there's a big wall there at 10,200 you might want to place your bids or so, yeah you might want to place your bids on the inside of walls like these that's the same thing with the sell side you look for empty pockets to place your bids uh, to guarantee that they get filled All right this move on Bitcoin is good but let's just look how to scale out of our positions now if you want to get out of the position uh, we are in a long of a thousand contracts betting that Bitcoin's going to go up You should place a close order here. There's a couple different ways to do it but We'll look at the simplest way. So if the price of Bitcoin gets to let's say 11,000 Then we will close out this position There it is and you can move these around just like the other limit orders so if the price gets to this price or above a market order will be executed and it, you'll be removed from the position pretty much immediately. Um, let's close that, cancel that order, it's done. Now let's look at another way to sell. If you just go and place a limit order of a thousand at 11,000 price of Bitcoin, a thousand contracts. If you just sell short, 
there it is. So that's another way to place a limiter. You're, you're both essentially doing the same thing, but I just thought I'd take you through that quickly. All right, so now that we have this uh, limit order in, I mean, let's just see what it looks like to execute. It's actually a good position. Kind of hate to let it go, but we're just fooling around with a thousand contracts here. Let me go ahead and move that there. Now it's asking me, are you sure you want to place it below the mar market price? Because it'll it'll probably sell it right away, execute immediately. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. And we've been automatically removed from the position. Thousand contracts gone. Awesome guys, I uh, just want to say, be very, very careful with this stuff. It has the potential for unbelievable profits, uh, honestly, but also unbelievable losses. So only play with what you can afford to lose. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick beginner's tutorial on Bit BitMEX leverage trading. And if you did, please check out in the description, there is a special link there that you can click to save on BitMEX fees for the next six months. You'll get 10% off your fees, which honestly, it's very useful, especially in the early days of trading, because you'll notice that the fees uh, on these positions really, really does add up. So that's a great way to save and it costs you nothing. Right guys, good luck with your trading. Be as careful as possible. And uh, if you like these types of videos, like and subscribe. Cheers.